What's up, King Creator fans? You guys know that I make a lot of inventions out of Coca-Cola cans, and today will be no exception. So empty one and let the fun begin. In addition to the can, we'll also need a PVC or very hard plastic pipe. With the help of a school ruler, make a mark approximately 11.5 centimeters and cut the piece with a saw, serrated knife, or box cutter. Why not? This piece of plastic tubing will be one of the most important parts of the whole invention. Eat a popsicle to be able to use the stick. One won't hurt. Mark every two centimeters along the length of the popsicle stick. Mark five in total. With scissors, cut along the marks on the stick. Be careful with the pieces that fly away. One, two, three. When we have the four pieces ready, glue them together with hot glue to form a perfect wooden square. Well, it's a little crooked, but remember that beauty lies within, sometimes deep within. Mark the measurement of the square on the rest of the popsicle stick and cut it. Glue it to the bottom of the square with lots and lots of hot glue. Don't forget to clean the extra glue from the edges. Now it looks better. On another popsicle stick, mark a line at seven centimeters with a pencil. Cut this part with scissors and then repeat this step with the other stick. Well, we need four of these, so don't just sit there. Move those little hands. Inventions do not create themselves. Find your instant super glue and start to lay all the pieces one on top of the other until they are as glued as you are to the TV. This piece will be attached to the wooden cube. Place glue on the open side and press firmly until it's fastened well. I was going to tell you a joke about what this shape looked like, but I can only think of a P. Do you see something else? Glue the P to the Coca-Cola can with a little glue and secure it with a couple rounds of tape. If it's colored tape, it helps with aesthetics. Next is the famous red switch that we like to press so much. Put a little instant glue on it and stick it to the end of the wooden extension. It's looking better and better, and it's such fun to push the button. Inventions with switches are always accompanied by snap-on cables and batteries, and sometimes a couple of extra components than the usual electrical system, like this thingy, which either conducts the energy or stores it. Put glue on the fattest part of whatever this thing is, and glue it just below the wooden extension. It should stick out just a little. Connect the green wire to the other pin on the button, then place hot glue on the wood under the wires to glue them down and to prevent them from disconnecting from the plugs. Connect the black wire to the red wire and put some of that thermoplastic over it. I love to watch it shrink. Hot glue the other two wires and connect a nine volt battery to the wires with a snap. Careful, it shocks. Put super glue on the battery and attach it to the wooden base under the can. With a drill, make a big hole on one side of the can. We'll insert some transparent tube in the next step. This is what I was talking about. Unroll a bit and cut a piece with some scissors. Once done, we'll need a balloon pump to connect it to. Put one end of the hose onto the air pump's outlet and attach it below everything with a couple rounds of adhesive tape. Connect the other end of the can through the hole and fill it completely with hot glue. Create a new hole towards the top of the can and on the same side as the first hole. Insert the pair of wires that we joined a few steps ago and then seal it with tons of hot glue. Place more glue around the opening of the can and press the PVC pipe on. We've finished assembling our powerful cork launcher. If you look inside, you'll see how it glows with power. It only needs a couple of simple steps that won't take more than a minute. We need to load the tube with perfume. If you used your grandfather's vintage cologne, it will perform better. Reconnect the tube and pump air through it into the can. Get a pair of ooh, hip corks from your dad's special reserve and use them as 
hip firepower. For the quality inspection, assemble a tower of red party cups. Did you know that I was the life and soul of parties when I was in high school? If I had one of these back then, no one would have beaten me in the cup tower toppling competition. But Pringles cans are a more powerful enemy. Let's see what it does to them. Double hit! It's great! Matches are also one of the objects my friends and I entertained ourselves with at parties. We would take one out of the box and press it against the scraper with our finger, and then give it a strong blow with the other hand, causing the match to shoot out. The first one who managed to light it was proclaimed the king of the matches. I got excited talking about that again. After removing the matches and sticking a piece of adhesive tape on it, attach another piece of the same shape on the opposite side. Don't forget to make those cuts to the protruding flaps so that you can close them more easily. Continue to wrap the box in tape like a mummy until you can't see the box design. We're not done with the tape yet. Get some gray tape and cut a couple of pieces to cover the whole box again. This will ensure that the gas does not leak out anywhere. Tell us in the comments what inventions or experiments you have done, either from this channel, from another channel, or created on your own. With the help of a pointy tool, create five holes of the same size, four of them on the top and one of them on one of the shorter sides of the box. Get some clear tube and cut a good size piece with scissors. Connect it to the side hole that we created and secure it with a swab of super glue. For extra security, cover everything with a couple pieces of super strong gray tape. Now, we'll need the scariest part of a syringe. Remove the needles, which many of us are afraid of, from four syringes. Glue each of them into the four holes with lots of super glue. Once they're ready, it's time to light it. For this, we'll need a lighter that has lots of fuel left inside. With a tool, open the little metal tabs that the lighter has on the gas outlet to be able to connect the hose there. Be sure to secure it with glue. Lastly, we'll need a rubber band. Place it so that it presses against the lighter button. It's time to prepare our favorite snack. I'll start by making a hot dog. Light the small stove with another lighter and bon appetit! I can't wait to eat this grilled sausage. It's one of my favorite snacks. With your permission, I'll go eat lunch. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.